Aromatic Adventure. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I love this place. Sal Deerfield, Massachusetts, home of the Yankee Candle Village flagship store. And it is Friday, August 23rd, 2019, the day before the Halloween preview party. Tomorrow morning, all of the Yankee Candle storefronts are going to be celebrating Halloween, but for me, this is the place to be. Inside, the Yankee Candle design staff is hard at work making everything spooky and festive for tomorrow's activities. There's some items on the shelves, but certainly not everything. But I figured we'd go inside, see what is on the shelves, and first thing tomorrow morning, we'll be back to experience the 2019 preview party. Let's go inside. This is the moment, the moment all year I anticipate, the moment I walk down this corridor to see the haunted spooky festivities that lay in store for Yankee Candle. Check it out. I can already see spooky lighting, spooky decorations. I see candles on the shelves. I see accessories. What do we have? So it's quite easy to tell that this year's theme is an old-fashioned circus, carnival, freak show of sorts. Right over here, we have this awning. It's weather-beaten and tattered. This handmade sign right here, Carnival Spooktacular. Up on the walls here, we have these circus posters. Rotting spiders, gigantic rats. So walking in here, it's like we're walking into some spooky. Walking into some spooky carnival. The focal point of the room is going to be standing right here. This haunted hayride horse sculpture. And when we take a really close look at this, it's absolutely mind-blowing. I can't believe they made this. The whole sculpture is gonna be constructed with these little shims, these pieces of painted black wood, but they're arranged in such a way, stapled and nailed, glued together, to construct this hollow body, this skeletal demon creature that is guiding this wagon this hearse, whatever it may be. And what's really spooky, and it kind of caught me off guard for a moment. I, I, I was fooled. It was an illusion. The horse reins, right? This leather strap goes right up. And wait a minute. Who is holding the straps? The ghost, the spirit, the apparition that sits in that chair. He's guiding this horse, but we can't see him with the naked eye. He's invisible. Stations all around the room, different goodies, different tokens to take home to put in your baskets while shopping. It's a trio scent of these three retro soap dispensers. The jack-o'-lantern, this black cat, they seem to be perched on cupcakes or something like that, but my favorite, the owl. I love owls. Who doesn't love owls? This is why it's such a unique experience to shop at the Yankee Candle Village, because you're not just purchasing Yankee Candles products, they carry a whole array of different items. For example, you won't be finding something like this at your local Yankee Candle. This is a candy corn with a happy face. It's a salt and pepper shaker, apparently. Things like this, uh, $10, right? At some point in all of our lives, we all had one of these plastic jack-o'-lantern trick-or-treat buckets. I remember my grandmother buying me my first one. Well, this is certainly inspired by those plastic buckets, but this is 
made out of ceramic. You can hang this, put a bunch of candy corn in here, your favorite chocolate bar, Halloween earrings, the witch's hat or the pumpkins. I don't know which one suits me. Pumpkin? These little haunted houses, they're kind of like houses built within trees. Fully functioning doors, they have LED lights inside, so illumination through those windows, through the doors. We have a very hobbit looking spooky tree, but then we have this very angry tree that's old, very evil. Third dollars, that's a steal. This will last you a lifetime. These little headbands. This is a, a witch's hat for your dog, or if they're feeling a little bit devilish, we have those too. Something my dog would probably not love, but something I would love for her to wear. Franken dog, this little handkerchief. Keep herself warm, because keeping yourself warm on Halloween night, well, that's just one of the priorities. Well, I was gonna say hundreds. There's not that much, but there's certainly no shortage of haunted hayride. We have the classic 22 ounce house warmer jar that's going to have paraffin wax. Paraffin wax has an incredibly uh, great shelf life. You can burn a little bit this year, burn a little bit next year. You can have that on your shelf for a very long time. However, I know a lot of you like to finish them off for the holiday season. And my recommendation there is to go with the softer wax tumbler. This is going to be a soy blended wax, which uh, doesn't require as much babysitting as something like the house warmer because you have to, you know, kind of uh, watch it burn for four hours before you can put it out. This puppy will uh, fully illuminate, the wax will melt, pull out and uh, have incredibly high intensity. It won't last as long as far as shelf life, but if you're the type to burn your candles through the season, throw out the jar and buy more, uh, you know, maybe the tumbler is for you, but to be honest, when it comes to Yankee Candle, I'm always gonna be a house warmer guy. It's tradition. Witch's Brew celebrated its 20th anniversary just last year, and for the longest time, there was no signs that Yankee Candle was going to uh, put it out on the shelves this year. Thankfully, that's not the case. There's certainly no shortage of Witch's Brews. It is the same design from last year, uh, the same label, but this is arguably the coolest label that Witch's Brew has ever had. This is only the third time in Yankee Candle's history that Witch's Brew has been released in the 22 ounce house warmer jar. My suggestion, stock up. We have the Witch's Cauldron with some form of ooey gooey, green bubbling, oozing goo emitting this white vapor, this smoke. And that vapor transforms itself into that Edgar Allan Raven-esque Poe who is valiantly standing, perched on top of this cauldron. In the corner there, what looks to me like a mosaic window, as if this label, this photo was taken in the tower of the witch's castle. But some have said, including myself, if you take a look at this label, maybe pull it away and maybe uh, unfocus your eyes a little bit, can you see the witch in this label? I won't lie, but this is a little bit terrifying. We have this bird cage. This is not for sale. This is uh, purely decoration. But look at the doll inside of this bird. Why is she in a bird cage? I can't answer that question. But it's certainly quite terrifying. I wouldn't want one. Maybe, maybe I'd want one. She's starting to grow on me. We have this black skull. And if I place my eyes just right, this holds two tea lights. So when you light those tea lights inside of that cranium, you're gonna see those two flames flickering in 
the eye holes of that skeleton. That's, that's quite spooky. But if you're looking for something a little bit more shiny, a little bit more flashy, well, they got, you, they got you covered. They have that too. We have yet another chrome accessory by Yankee Candle, and your eyes do not deceive you. That really is as shiny and reflective as it looks. You could put a candle in there. You could put coffee in there, as far as I'm concerned. And if this is too small, options, options. This incredibly uh, large, oversized, more than life-size human skull that is fully chromed out. That might be a little bit too large for coffee. Uh, looks like the lawn ornaments to stick in your front lawn. You can never have too many of those. Four individual uh, ceramic tea light holders that fit on this uh, little uh, twisted tree. There's some cobwebs on here. So that's going to do it for now. I think I'm going to call it quits for today. But rest assured, I'm going to be here first thing tomorrow morning for the 2019 Yankee Candle Village preview party. It's going to be a wild day tomorrow. Need to get some sleep. Saturday, August 24th, it's a beautiful day and it's officially the morning of the 2019 Yankee Candle Halloween preview party. We're here at Sal Deerfield, Massachusetts, home of the Yankee Candle Village store. We still have uh, quite a few moments before they open up those front doors, but you can see that there's already folks waiting in line. I'm seeing Halloween costumes, I'm seeing smiles, I'm seeing lots of shopping carts because as soon as they open those doors, uh, they're gonna be flooding into the Halloween display room. Easily one of the most anticipated days of the year for me to be in this location. Let's, let's, get, let's get in line. Look at that candle. What does it smell like? Uh, take a sniff. Haunted Highlight. <laughs> yeah? What does it like? smell like? Haunted <laughs> Does it smell pretty? Would you burn that candle? Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Have a great day shopping, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> we got Laura and Joey. I see that they have a basket of goodies. What do you, got, what do you guys have? Uh, trick or treat's my favorite. Kind of smells like candy corn vanilla forward really like this one yeah Bob tell me tell me your thoughts of witch's brew is this a candle that you bought in the yes. past yes we, uh, we come here every year yeah for the uh, bony bunch and while we do that we search out the candles that we want for the year and witch's brew happens to be one of the best and our children love it Ben and Logan joining us here at the party and I asked them kindly if they would Take a, a sniff of uh, the brand new Haunted Hayride fragrance. So let's do it, guys. Okay. Pick up a jar. It's and, really good. Yeah, tangy, yeah. very tangy. Is this something that you would burn on Halloween? Is Absolutely. It spooky? Absolutely. Of course. Lauren, this is your first time smelling the brand new Trick or Treat candle. Let's get your initial uh, opinion, reaction, whatever, whatever you feel. Okay. Give that a sniff. I wanted it to be like candy corn, but it's more spicy than candy corn. You get that orange thing that I was talking about? I do. A little bit yeah. of the orange. It's 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 different, right? It's I not. I think it could work for Thanksgiving as well as Halloween. Oh. Thanksgiving, yes. autumn. Does it remind you of trick or treats? Um, no, not really. 
spooky. You know, like going through like the middle of the night, like on a hayride, like in Belle, like when like yeah. her dad gets arrested and like she goes down like that little thing. Like, a Beauty and the Beast reference. Yes. I love this. Thank you. Philly Candleman? Is that, is that Philly Candleman? Is that Brett of YouTube? How's it going, buddy? You doing a little shopping? I'm doing great. What's your initial impressions of uh, the fragrances? Haven't smelled them yet. Haven't smelled them haven't yet. Smelled, well, haven't smelled Haunted, haunted Hayride yet. Okay. Yeah. You gotta like clear your mind, yeah. have a seat. Yes. Gotta Spiritual moment. For it. Exactly. Yes. Well, happy shopping and make sure uh, we, we speak before we take off. We will. All right. The 2019 Boney Bunch collection, they're all out on the shelves and luckily none have sold out yet. Let's take a close look. First one here, we have the Snake Charmer, a 1920s flapper, carnival-esque character and she's wrapped in this gargantuan anaconda. Despite this terrifying task, she's got a big smile on her face. And this will hold a tea light. You may even be able to get a votive holder inside of this bony bunch. $20. The juggler. We can see that this skeleton in these balloon pants is juggling a set of clubs. And it looks like he's even dropped one or two on the ground. Not, not a great juggler. People think I'm a lunatic sometimes. This is called simply the cannon. We have this daredevil skeleton protruding outside of this very deadly cannon on wheels. What's cool about this, you see where that tea light goes? It goes right in the back. So when you have that tea light lit, that wick with the flame will mimic the fuse of this cannon. It'll look like a lit fuse. The Freak Show announcer. This is apparently supposed to have an LED light built inside of it. It does. You see this right here? These four LED lights light up and you put your tea light right here on the top of this pedestal. I could see this guy calling out for concessions, popcorn, candy apples, other stuff you find at carnivals. Oh yeah, what would a carnival, a circus, a freak show be without the strongman? Skeleton with the handlebar mustache, with this large barbell. He's wearing like a convict, uh, a striped suit or a bathing suit from the 30s. Either way, uh, he certainly is a very strong man and this base holds two tea lights. Are you afraid of clowns? I'm a little afraid of clowns. We have a bony bunch, creepy clown ceramic jar holder. Uh, this will easily hold uh, a house warmer jar. And even if you have other candles by other candle companies that have a larger uh, diameter or radius, it'll fit in here as well. The knife thrower holding this knife dangerously close to his face, but you know, I guess it doesn't matter because he has a knife right through his head. It almost looks like this could be pulled out. It can't, and I don't want to break it. He's wearing some form of clown shoes and, and toga, even a little uh, clown ruffles, and uh, he holds a tea light. The bony man on stilts. It's almost hard to get this guy completely in frame because he is indeed rather tall. He has these uh, white and orange pinstripe pants with these pointy shoes and a, a very slim, long cane. He's looking very dapper with his top hat. He has uh, some circus uh, platform container that will hold, guess what, a tea light or possibly even a votive holder. And the centerpiece of the collection, if you ask me, the ring master. We have this tart warmer, uh, even though the tarts are on their way out for Yankee Candle, sadly. Uh, so you can use up all of your older tarts or just chop up a votive. And we have the bony dog uh, standing on his platform. Anyone an American Horror Stories fan? Sarah Paulson, perhaps? 
The freak show just does not sound politically correct. This bony is going to be taper holder. So we put uh, two candlesticks, and although their heads are kind of cocked to the side, trust me, the candles will stand straight up. And we even have the little bonus bony cat off to the side. So I have three candles in this basket, and I purposely put them in jar holders because I don't want to uh, let you guys see the labels because the labels tell us the story. So I want you to smell these three candles and tell me in your own words, you don't have to tell me exactly what you smell, but maybe emotionally where these candles take you. Does it remind you of a specific time of the year, a memory that you might have? But most importantly, which one most represents to you Halloween or spooky, okay? okay. Give them a sniff. Oh boy. Oh. It's a very like clean scent, almost like clean laundry. All right, give that a smell. It smells like apple and cinnamon. Kind so, of a fall scent. Yeah. Fall scent, yeah. apple, cinnamon. So same kind of question, emotionally, does this bring you somewhere? I never got like apple picking or something. Yeah. Like, that's kind of a scent that Generally, the area gives off. Um, mine kind of smells like a little bit like a smoky scent, but with like some floral aspects. Yeah. Is there anything about this that brings you outside? Um, I think definitely like the smokier scent to it would bring you to like a campfire or like hanging out outside with friends. Uh, you know, my background is in wine, so I, 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 for years I've had my nose in a glass of wine, and my job was to pick out very specific notes. Let the Rolodex of images in your mind kind of flow, mm -hmm. your memories and those, you know, your third eye kind of follow uh, uh, the aroma. I feel like this one's more indoorsy than the other one, yeah. I don't know, it does, it smells like an Abercrombie and Fitch. All right, all right. <laughs> this one, I mean, I don't know, it's like lavender, like. Which adjective would you use? Refreshing or robust? Prefer refreshing? Yeah. Yeah. I kind of agree. More, like, more of a refreshing, yeah. You know, because if you smell that again, I, I completely agree with you, the lavender, but do you get like a citrus component? Yeah, a Almost like a, like a lavender, like limey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, this guy right here. This is definitely like a cinnamon, almost like pumpkin spice smell. So we're, we're really like, picking up the spices on that. Yeah. Um, Reminds me of like cooking pies for Thanksgiving. Ooh. Let's, okay, which ones didn't you guys have? I didn't get that. All right, switch yeah. them up. Okay. This is great. Give those a sniff. Would there be any chance you would pick this one over these two? I'd probably pick that one. You'd honestly. pick this I, one? Honestly, this is the one I'm going for too. Yeah. And what about yourself? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Again, from my research, this is not like statistics from Yankee Candle, my research. Uh, out of these three, we all agreed that this candle right here was is the one that we would take home today. Yeah. What would you say if I told you that this was the least successful candle out of all three of these? Really? really? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah. Again, from my research, this is not like statistics from Yankee Candle. <laughs> this was an online exclusive released in uh, 2017, but I was a huge, huge fan of this candle. And although it was an autumn candle, I thought it was kind of spooky. I thought it was kind of Halloween. I, I, to me, it felt like walking through like an old cornfield, a corn maze, hay bales, scarecrows. You got that spice lingering in the background. This one's called Autumn Dusk. Oh. Autumn Dusk. And uh, right. look at that. I mean, that's... I love yeah, that picture. That's really spooky, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, thank you guys so much for participating. Yeah, uh, no wave to the camera. All right. Hi. Have a great day. Happy shopping. Thanks. Thank Can you see the sign behind me? The Black Forest. Uh, I heard that there's a brand new village that they have set up. This room, if you don't know, and if you haven't seen any of my prior tour videos of the Yankee Candle Village, it's loaded with uh, villages. We have Christmas villages, we have cinematic villages, we have Halloween spooky villages. The Harry Potter village set. Do we have any Potterheads out there? I know, I know we do.
Hogwarts, we have, well, Hogwarts is up there. We have two. I don't know the films enough, to be honest with you, to know what these are. We have Hogsmeade. We have all of the different... We have all of the different settings, uh, the locations of the film, but let's take a close look at this Harry Potter set. So one of the newest additions here at the Yankee Candle Village is a living by candlelight. This is a, a, an opportunity where you become the master chandler, you become the candle maker, you pick out your fragrances, you blend them together, and you pour your own candle right here at this bar. We have to make a Halloween themed candle, the caramel covered apple, of course. So this is how it works. You come over to this station, they have all of these single note soft wax candles. So you can go through all of these. You see we have cedar, caramel, butterscotch. You choose your fragrances. Then you come over to the bar and you grab one of these clipboards. You know, you dream up a name, any name you want. I'm gonna call this Ooey Gooey Caramel Covered Apple. Ooey Gooey Caramel Covered Apple. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the stuff. So we need a bright apple. We could do Granny Smith, but I'm thinking Honey Crisp Apple. It's sweet, it's tart. We could do something like butterscotch. We could do more of a candy apple and go for something like taffy or cotton candy. But I think for this case, we're gonna stick with the caramel. I'm not joking, I'm not trying to be silly. I think we all have uh, a memory, that experience of eating the caramel covered apple, but then chewing on that stick. That little wooden base note is going to really add to the authenticity. I think uh, we're gonna go with a bourbon base note. Bourbon base note is gonna uh, smell like oak. Uh, it's gonna have those barrel spices. It's gonna have a little bit of this cinnamon nutmeg thing, but it's also gonna have a really creamy, uh, decadent vanilla quality as well. Two parts honey crisp, equal parts of caramel, but then just one part bourbon because we don't want to overdo it with the bourbon. I've put two drops of caramel, two drops of honey crisp apple, and just one drop of that bourbon barrel in here. This Calvado, if you've never had Calvados, apple brandy from Spain, absolutely amazing. It does have this sophisticated cocktail-like smell. Let's pour some wax. All right, so I have my rose gold tumbler, my jigger of mixed fragrance oil. This is gonna go right into the soy-based blend. This wax is at 170 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which gives us plenty of time to work with, but I do wanna make sure we spread out all of that fragrance oil in there. Good technique as I was just told, is to do an up and down motion. I remember Mr. Snyder in chemistry in high school telling me the same thing, only, well, I didn't pay attention to chemistry in high school, so. All right, so without dripping this on me, I'm gonna smell the spoon. You can already see the wax solidifying. Oh yeah. You know, it, it almost has a little of a, a baked apple quality to it. And how long does it usually take for this to completely solidified. So it'll probably take about 15 to 20 minutes to look like it's completely solidified. And then we do a glaze, and then we let it rest again, and then we do one last glaze. And then once it's completely hardened, we cut the wick, and it's ready to go. Another Halloween has come and gone, Linus. Actually, no, it hasn't. Halloween has yet to begin. It's not even September yet. There's plenty of Halloween yet to come. But I want to thank you all for joining me on my fourth annual video. I want to give a huge warm shout out to the folks here at the Yankee Village for always showing me so much kindness, generosity, 
allowing me to come in with my camera and do my thing so that I can share my vicarious experience with all of you folks every year. I gotta get moving. Be good and happy hauntings. We'll see you folks real soon.